Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. We have a battle royal for you. We have the Glenn Farkless 17 squaring off with the Glenn Farkless 21. Starting off with the 17er. Comes in at 43%. Uh, Price wise, a 17er is $100 US around that area. 21 it comes in around 150. It's quite a disparity in the purse here. You know, you got the champ here going for an extra, but it, it's usually, he's the A side, so he's got to get a little extra cut on the, the, the fight purse. <laughs> Very complex nose. It's a little bit of a fruit basket. Mm. And I get some, some buttery toffee. Definitely that sweetness from the toffee on there. Sophisticated dram. One prominent note in here, it's, it's spicy, but oddly enough, I think the spice comes from cinnamon. Vietnamese cinnamon. Very sophisticated. If uh, your, your idiot cousin comes over the house, you keep this one under the cupboard because he's totally not going to appreciate it. With this masterpiece, just give him some, some grain alcohol or whatever. But with this, I think, you know, you really need to put on your, your smoking jacket, you know, get your pipe out, even if you don't smoke. Um, just get yourself in the mood and pour a, a heavy dram of this. Nice zipping whiskey. It's actually a whiskey I would recommend for the fall season. It warms you up a little bit. To finish itself, very satisfying. Very satisfying. Beautiful. Now, let's see how it stacks up against the 21er. Taking a look at them under the light, the 21er is slightly darker. Marginally so. Marginally, Marginally so. Yeah, Marginally not too so. much between the two. I actually get more peat on the nose. Again, not overwhelming. Touch. There's a very, very light touch. These are both matured in cherry cask. Cherry, yeah. more body. Would I spend 150 US for this? Pink pepper and clove. Um, again, a little oh, bit hot. Right? Huh? Yeah, uh. forty-three percent. So, like ABV wise, is the same, but it's just got a little more spice to it. It's a little more peppery. Having said so that, punchy. they're both they're both fantastic drams. Like one hundred fifty, you can get probably four fantastic whiskeys, right? You get the extra change. I'd go for it. You know what's what's, what's a little weird with this one? What I'm picking up with the twenty-one-er, I'm getting a sliver of the Ardbeg Oudal in there. But you really? know what it's, Yes, but you know what it's like? It's like the PIP. You know, you got your, your TV, you got the main thing, and it takes up like 80% of the screen. And like hidden within that, you got this little 20% on the side. The reason why I say that is you, you have the peat, and you kind of have the, the, the one thing about the Oudal, if any of you guys are fans of it, which we are, is that um, in addition to that peat that Ardberg has. It's got the non peat uh, Yeah, it's, it's got the, the cherry the too as yeah, well yes, that comes yeah. in there. But so I kind of feel like, uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they're the same with that they're very similar yeah, for sure but for i just sure. get like a little bit of like a, a passing uh reminder of the Ugadal, you know like it's kind of on the, the road side it's like the, the yeah the you kind of pass the by the and you get it yeah. pip and pimp with a plane pimp or something like that yeah. No, I never use that. Yeah, I never use that. I, never use it. I mean, I guess if you're watching like a sports well, game. One, like, one of the uh, greatest failures of humanity, picture in picture. And Betamax as well. <laughs> Betamax didn't do too well. The, the finish is also nice. Yeah. It's, it's a nice finish. It's an elegant, smooth finish. It's a little bit like a distinguished gentleman making his uh, exit. Spend a little more, bit more time with the 21er. This is a whiskey you can actually sit with. Some of these whiskeys you want to sit there, you know, on your own. If you don't have any friends, I mean, it's probably worth the extra money. You can talk to it. It does not talk back, but you can have a conversation with it. Uh, but as you sit there and you kind of, you taste it and you smell it, you do pick up like a little bit more as it goes along. Hey, from my side, both of them a thumbs up. Both, both good drams. If you really want like a pound for pound conversation i think that the 21er is slightly better but i don't think that it's worth the additional uh 50 you know that's a that's a huge price bump in terms of percentage wise i agree with percent increase for that if you're really looking for more bang for your buck go for the 17er but if you just want the best simply the best then you would go for the 21 Goodness.